welcome to Wednesday's market sit rep the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Eve, the day before the Eagles pound the hell out of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome. Uh, l really low volume in the market today, folks. Just kind of wallowing around here, and we shouldn't be wallowing around based on the macroeconomic data uh, that came out today. Let's just go to the flight schedule real quick and get a, a high level view of what happened today. Core durable goods, folks. And, and you know, whenever you see the word core, it means X something. And core durable goods means X transportation items. No triple seven orders in here. Absolutely imploded. We were negative last time. They were looking for a positive print this time. Not only did we not get a positive print, we got a worse negative print. So not good. Big spike in weekly unemployment claims. Uh, an inflation number, eh, who cares? Regular durable goods, which includes those triple seven and big, you know, let's buy a submarine type of things. Uh, we're a little green, but you know, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Here's what really uh, caught my attention today. Personal spending and personal income. Personal spending declined. Personal income declined. And uh, big misses there from a forecast. That's not good. For a little while there, we actually saw personal spending increasing uh, while personal income went down. That just... Try that. Try doing the math on that. Even for a political science guy, that do, that doesn't last for too long. So now we're seeing those two lines on that chart intersect. Personal spending slowing down. Personal income slowing down. Huge miss out of um, huge miss out of the Chicago uh, PMI. One of the biggest misses uh, I think in about uh, 13, 13 months there. So not uh, great macroeconomic data. Let me see if I can get back to that. Forex factory. Uh, not great macroeconomic data coming out uh, today. We had University of Michigan revised numbers. Consumer sentiment imploded. New home sales, huge miss. Pending home sales, huge miss. Hmm. So uh, net, net, not good. Okay. Uh, in the journal, U.S. consumer spending muted in October. Consumers remain cautious despite improving labor market <laughs> and cheaper gas. Yeah. You know, when folks, instead of spending a, you know, uh, Hundred bucks to fill up the family truckster, only spending seventy-five. Most economists say, "Well, they're going to take that twenty-five and run over to Chipotle." That's not what's happening. They're taking that twenty-five bucks and they're sitting on it, okay? Uh, because people know that the labor market is not improving, and they're just not feeling good about their outlook. So I wouldn't, you know, I I I love the Wall Street Journal. Don't agree with that. But again, when you when you take a look at the macroeconomic data, um, it's it, it was very very poor. University of Michigan that was the biggest miss in 13 months. That consumer confidence, Chicago PMI, fourth biggest drop since Lehman uh, Brothers. We looked about the uh, we looked at the real estate numbers, uh, and then core durable goods orders dropped the most since the, the polar vortex last year, right? Uh, and core capex was the lowest uh, since May. Definitely, definitely not uh, good numbers there. And the University of Michigan consumer sentiment uh, number comes on the heels of, of yesterday's conference board's consumer confidence numbers. Let's take a look at those real quick because I, I think I shot my sit rep uh, before those uh, uh, numbers came out. Yeah, look at that. Consumer confidence uh, numbers from the conference board, 88.7. So you got revised Michigan numbers down the conference board's numbers down, and look at that, the Richmond Fed, I think we covered that yesterday, uh, from a 17, you know, 20, 17, 4. Anybody seeing a trend here with our macroeconomic data? Just uh, aren't necessarily uh, that good, but who cares? In this market, we go up. In the lack of just a world-ending event, this market cannot be kept down. We go up. Um and we're, we're going up in a lot of our portfolios here on the option side of the house here at T3 Live. Here's our month-to-day performance. This is our accelerated retirement portfolio. Uh, and we're up nearly 15 grand month-to-date. And that's only on about 68, 69 grand in risk uh, of, of haircut there. What's that about? A mental math. 27% return. 27% return in one month in our retirement portfolio. So we're doing pretty good here. So we have a lot of stuff going on. FXI was up nearly 3% today. Uh, global investors plow cash into Asian stocks as year 
and nears. Really seeing some nice moves out of Asia today. The surprise announcement out of the PBOC. And then, uh, uh, as you guys know, Bank of Japan, Governor Kuroda coming off the turnbuckle there as well uh, with his quantitative easing. Abe shaking up the cabinet. And obviously everybody and their mother believing that that next sales uh, tax increase scheduled for next October, that ain't happening. Um, so the FXI up over 3% today, and that's really helping uh, some of our FXI trades here in a lot of our portfolios, okay? So I got to run. It's going to be a flat rest of the day. Be careful traveling. This is the busiest travel day of the year, so be careful out there uh, up in the uh, uh, up in the tundra in the northeast. I am safe and sound down here in beautiful Boca Raton, where actually it is raining, but at least it's not snow. So have a great Thanksgiving, folks, uh, with your family, friends, your loved ones, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys on Friday. We'll see you.